right? So, Martin Luther King Jr. All right, let's go and take a look here. On this example, guys, you, hopefully you guys recognize it's very, a lot of the same thing. We're using our inverse operation. We want to isolate the x. We want to get x by itself. The problem is x is being multiplied by 3. It's being subtracted by 1. And then you're taking the square root under that. But again, we can't use our reverse order of operations. We can't undo the addition and the multiplication because it's under this radical. So we've got to get rid of the radical. So to do that, we're just going to square. And again, just make sure you square both sides. So in this case, we get y squared is equal to 3x minus 1. Now I can use my inverse operations, reverse order of operations, and so on and so forth. So therefore, I get y squared plus 1 is equal to a 3x. Divide by 3, divide by 3. Um, and then you know I can write this as 1 third y squared plus 1 equals x. right? Or any way you want. Or you can just leave it just like that, however you want to do it. OK? Yes, go ahead. I'm just writing it one, one way. Like, if you want to leave it like this, equal to x, that's fine. I'm just saying, like, hey, let's say you do this, and then that's the multiple choice answer. Just make sure you know that's is the same as that. Yes? So you're not, supposed, you're not supposed to put the square. You're not supposed to put the equation in parentheses, put the square out of it. You're only supposed to put the square out of the y. Like, right there, you put y squared plus 1 over 3 yeah. only on the y. Y is only squared? Yeah. Yes, because when we squared both sides, this quantity was the square root that got squared. So that undid the square root. But over here, only the y was squared. Okay. However, that's important a distinction to know because look what's here. We can't undo the squaring until we get rid of the 3. right? So if you need to undo the square root or any root, you want to isolate it. So we're going to divide by 3. So now we have y over 3 is equal to the square root of x minus 1. Now, to your point, when I square both sides, I have a y over 3 that's going to be squared, which is going to produce a y squared over 9 is equal to the quantity x minus 1. And then I add the 1 to both sides, plus 1 is equal to an x. Yes? So you would want us to simplify the squares by just leaving it as y over 3 squared plus 1 equals x? I mean, it depends on the, depends on the question, what I'm asking. If I say to like, simplify, then obviously that would, I would expect expect you to multiply that you know, out. Um, but let's go and take a look at this one. But again, to be honest with you, it, it really kind of depends on what we're using. The, it depends on how the question would be asked. Um, because really, yeah, there really is no difference. If you wrote it like this, there's nothing wrong with that. right? It's just not, you just didn't distribute the square. Like that's, to me, that would still be correct as that, right? unless I'm asking for something particular. Now this one kind of brings in the same example, like 1. Right? So before you can square root, you got to square, or I'm sorry, you got to get the square root isolated. So I add the 1 to the other side. Now we square this. Now, for the sake of time, I'm not going to square that out. Like, forget that. I'll just leave that at, um, like as that product squared. And then divide by 3. So y plus 1 squared divided by 3 equals x. However, could I multiply it out, or if I ask for something in expanded form? Right? If I said, hey, provide your answer as a quadratic, or, or maybe this isn't the answer choice. Maybe the answer choice looks like this. Instead of dividing by 3, I'm multiplying it by 1 third. Instead of writing it as y plus 1 squared, it's multiplied out. It's fair game, right? That's the same as that. They don't look anything alike, but they're the same answer. Right? So just be aware of it. Like As far as for me, you know, this is I, I'm not going to be picky, but however, for multiple choice, you're not going to know what you know. You got to make sure you you can adapt. All right, you guys ready for the good ones now? That was just the that was just the appetizer. 